Now, holding hands, kissing, waving the rainbow flag, any of those could get gays and lesbians and their supporters sent to jail in Russia. That presents a dilemma, as you can imagine, for Olympic athletes in Russia for the 2014 Winter Games. Now, Russia has told the International Olympic Committee all athletes are welcome, but it's unclear whether the law will be enforced. Blake Skellerup is a speed skater planning to compete at Sochi. He joins us from Vancouver. Uh, Johnny Weir is a three-time U.S. national figure skating champion. He joins us from New York. Gentlemen, it's good to have both of you. Good morning. So good morning. Here's, here's my question. There have been talks of a boycott. We'll start with you, Blake. Boycott or not? Definitely not. I think visibility is going to be the greatest key here to uh, bring about an awareness to the situation and to hopefully bring about a change. How about you, Johnny? I think a boycott is, is um, the worst possible thing we could do. I think our presence will help more than, than a boycott absolutely would. Our absence would create more of an issue for the LGBT community in Russia than our presence and our uh, performance and just our support of being there for them. Do you plan, I'm wondering, uh, as gay athletes, to make any sort of statement uh, a a about your sexuality to sort of, I guess, make a statement and maybe pressure Russia in obviously a law that you very much disagree with, Johnny? Well, for me, my sheer presence is already propaganda. First of all, I'm a figure skater. We wear very elaborate, crazy costumes, which has been alluded to in Elton John's case in Russia as of late as being propaganda. And I'm married to um, a Russian-American man. I'm a figure skater. I'm very well known in Russia. So just my sheer presence is a big statement going against this anti-propaganda law. Blake, what about you? Yeah, I guess I would agree with Johnny on that one. Um, I, I'm out, and I'm just myself, and there's a lot of uh, ambiguity with this law, and um, I guess if just being yourself is going to get you arrested, then I guess that's a statement in itself. So when you say that going there and being yourself um, is a statement in itself, do you believe that you will challenge that law in any way? Will you go there with anything, a, a rainbow flag? Will you attend something to show that you are there in solidarity with gay Russians? Well, I guess I'll, I'll take that first. Um, my, uh, my fans have made it very clear to their friends and family members that are of the gay community in Russia that I, I support them. I've spoken with many LGBT groups in Russia over the years, and luckily I have the skill of Russian language, so I'm able to connect to people um, in a very real way. And uh, I, I stand in solidarity with my brothers and sisters in Russia. I uh, will perform for them. I will do my best for them. I'll be as strong as possible. I actually was invited to go to Russia in October. And should I be arrested, I will do it with my chin held high because I was myself 100%. And if in some way I can help the community there just by being there and performing and not being afraid, I think it's the best statement I can make. Now, I, I want you guys to listen to University of Michigan rowing coach. This is Charlie Sullivan. He is openly gay, and I'll get your reaction on the other side. If you're an athlete and you are going to compete at the Olympic Games in a space where there is widespread persecution going on, you have some responsibility to say something. If you say nothing in that space, whether you want to say anything or not, you've actually supported the status quo. So Blake, what do you say to that? Because as you and Johnny say, participating is enough. He says you have to do more. I think we, we, we are doing more. Um, I, I personally believe in, in the Olympic movement. It's been very important to me in my life. And I think that just having the Olympics in Sochi, uh, the Olympic values can be championed not by only myself, but the, the entire athletes and the coaches and everybody there. And I think that is, is what's going to help. Um, the Olympics have great power, and I think uh, that power can be used uh, in Russia in 2014. Now, I, I've got to go back to and that. Uh, if I can go back to Blake. I think what Brianna was getting to, that you got to do something, you got to say something. Yeah. You can't just be there. I'm, I'm thinking about 1968 Mexico City. Um, when those two uh, athletes held their fists in the air, they didn't say much. They held up their, there was something there. 
Do you plan to go and just compete and let that be the statement? Um, or do you believe there's a responsibility? Are you conflicted at all? Let's go to Johnny with that. Well, for me personally, I, I am a very out and proud gay person. And, and just speaking about Russia in particular, as soon as I was married, it was front page news on all of their newspapers and, and people thinking like, oh, <laughs> and there were so many funny conspiracy theories about that my husband was marrying me for a green card even though he's American or just all of these crazy stories. And Russia was really gossiping about it. And, and uh, my position on being gay and being born gay is simply that I don't have to make myself different. I already am. The thing that I need to do is live normally and show people that being gay is absolutely a normal thing. It's not... Uh, something that should be jeered at in any way. So for me to go and, and wave a rainbow flag goes against my own personal principles. If I want to be accepted as Johnny Weir, I have to act as Johnny Weir. I'm not uh, a political leader. I'm not, um, you know, in my, in my own sense of the word, I'm not a propagandist. I'm, I'm somebody that lives their life and that lives it openly and proudly. And for me to go on a medal stand and, and wave a rainbow flag, while it would be a beautiful moment for the LGBT community around the world, it's not in my own personal principles to do that. The Olympics are peacetime. The Olympics are about sport and excellence. The Olympics aren't about politics. Uh, and cer certainly, though, I think we'll see a little bit of that as it comes into the Olympics. Johnny and Blake, we will be watching. And certainly good luck to both of you uh, as you try to qualify for the Olympics. We do wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much. Thank you.